I want to go back to, I was in uh, Uvalde right after the shooting, and, and I remember speaking to a number of people um, about how you solve this problem in Texas. Texas is tricky because even, uh, this is not, it doesn't break on Democratic-Republican lines uh, as it relates to gun ownership the way it does in, in some northern states. It's, it's a tricky one. And you have tried and suggested numerous ways in which Texas can handle this issue. But really, in the wake of Uvalde, it became easier to own a gun in Texas. Well, you're right, uh, Ali. I mean, the fact is Texas is broken. It's broken on so many issues. It's broken on, on guns and gun violence. It's broken on women's reproductive rights issues. You know, we don't, uh, Ted Cruz didn't break everything that's wrong in Texas, but he certainly embodies it all. Um, we somehow live in a state where someone can walk down the street with an AR-15 with impunity and not be stopped by law mm -hmm. enforcement officers. We're living in a state where we have the most mass shootings of any state in the last two years. Uh, we are certainly, certainly ailing in this issue, and the solutions are right there in front of us. Even Republican voters want to see an age limit increase. They want to see universal background checks, and they want to see extreme risk protective orders. And fundamentally, we should be talking about an assault weapons ban in this country. Look, it's one thing to talk about gun violence, and it's another thing to go in and see all of those dead children. I had to sue the state. Uh -huh. I saw every bit of that carnage, and I saw all of those children lying on the floor, some of them unidentifiable. We have to change what's broken in this in this state. What what's what does popular sentiment around this issue look like? Again, it's it's easy for some people to think of this as black and white, yes and no, gun rights versus uh, gun control. It's complicated in in Texas. What what looks like success to you with respect to to gun violence in Texas? Well, I think success, Ali, has to start with getting rid of Ted Cruz, who doesn't even want to talk about this issue. Uh, and if people are frustrated, they can go to RolandForTexas.com and look at the solutions that we have going forward. But success could mean having an age limit increase to 21. Most Republicans in the state are in favor of that. Success could be an extreme risk protective orders. And Republicans are coming around on red flags because they know that they don't want a mentally ill person to access weapons. And uh, we should have the power to be able to take those away when they're making threats. And certainly universal background checks. And that said, I don't shirk from the most important thing that we that we like to talk about, which is an assault weapons ban. Uh, I don't wish anybody to see those pictures and those images. But sometimes I wonder, what, would it change things if Americans saw what happened to those poor babies? Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about Senator Cruz not wanting to answer questions on this. Obviously, one of the reasons we don't talk about the gun issue in Texas uh, is because for the last year, other than the period around Uvalde, we have been preoccupied with the reproductive rights issue in Texas because Texas is is leading the country in its uh, in, its, in the draconian, not just the laws, but the actual way that it's playing out. Uh, your colleague, Ted Cruz, uh, not your colleague, the, the person you're, you're hoping to run against, Ted Cruz, um, are, is avoiding questions about Kate Cox, the woman who has now had to leave your state to seek reproductive uh, care. Th these are both yeah. issues that are sort of top of mind for most Texans right now. For most Texans, Republicans and Democrats, let's be very clear. I mean, you're right. He doesn't want to answer any things on guns. He wants to think about it and pray about it with people, and that's the end of that, uh, with no real solutions. When it comes to reproductive rights, he wants us all to go talk to his press secretary. And the fact is, you know, this poor woman, Kate Cox, who was on the verge of uh, a, a tremendous implication with her pregnancy and problem that she was having, um, could have died from it, uh, certainly was put in this situation and had to leave Texas after being attacked by the attorney general, being attacked by Ted Cruz, being attacked by the Supreme Court of Texas. Republican men in this state have just wrought havoc on women and, on, and their reproductive choices. We have to be able to go at a federal level and codify Roe v. Wade, possibly expand the Supreme Court and certainly change the filibuster on the issues that are most important to us, like gun violence, like reproductive rights, like electoral laws. 
the things that the vast majority of, of Americans are in favor of, 